Hello. Hi guys, we are here in LA. This is Angela. I found her actually on YouTube and she wrote, produced everything, right? This incredible series called Binge and you have to go and watch it, but I'm with her right now and I want to know everything about it. So tell me a little bit about yourself as well as the series. Um, yeah, I am an actor, a uh, writer, um, and a recovering bulimic and um, I, I struggled with an eating disorder for about 10 years before I sort of successfully entered recovery. I went to a treatment facility in Pasadena um, and when I got out about three, three and a half years ago, I decided I wanted to like channel that experience but also empower myself as an artist and like sort of take my career into my own hands. So I started working with a good friend of mine, Yuri Baranofsky, and we wrote a pilot for a show, a comedy about bulimia called Binge. Um, and last summer we shot the pilot and then um, over the holiday season we released it on YouTube and it kind of like exploded in a way that we weren't really prepared for. What's happening right now with it? What's your next step? How many views do you guys have? Right now we're about like, about 350,000, which is really exciting because there's no one famous in it. You know, I'm not famous, yeah. nobody knows who I am. You know, we don't have any like influencers. We don't have any anything really big. We just have a good story and that's what we really believe in and what yeah. we're passionate about. Um, so now we are actively pitching the project to different, project to different like studios, networks, uh, production companies, independent filmmakers, financiers to try and make a full season. Um, we also shot a short film prequel to it called The Blind Girl with Drake Bell from okay. uh, the show Drake and Josh. Yeah. Which you might be too young. I know. I, you I know? grew up okay. watching that. Okay. Oh my god. I'm actually <laughs> obsessed with that show. So that's so cool. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. It was yeah. Fun. It was a lot of fun. So cool. Um, so we're hopefully going to be doing. Um, another short film to kind of go along with it. We've also started doing interview vlogs. Um, Yuri interviews me talking about my experience with an eating disorder, and we're going to start to do interviews with other uh, people who have recovered from eating disorders just to kind of continue the conversation and spread awareness and spread the word. You yeah. know, eating disorders are a vast, a vast wilderness of pain, and mine is just one very specific experience, and so we want to start opening the dialogue to include other voices and other experiences yeah. um, that are, you know, just white and female. Yeah. That's a great question. You know, I think that it's all about story, right? We worked really hard on this story. Um, it's a very authentic story. It's based very closely on my own personal lived experience. Um, we developed it for a while. We honed the writing and... Um, we worked with individuals who have a lot of experience in the industry, and although we didn't really have much money, uh, the, the passion and the um, the technique that went into it were, were really high. Um, and I think it's rare to find things that, that have a, a really high production quality on YouTube, right? Um, because it's kind of a free-for-all. It's kind of like the Wild West out there, and we really put our, our blood, sweat, and tears into it, and people responded to it. I also think that eating disorders are still uh, very highly stigmatized, um, especially in media. They're very rarely explored, and if they are, it's like, you know, a, a very young, usually white girl struggling with anorexia, with perfectionism, often cast in the role of the victim. Um, you see her in a sad, very disenfranchised light, and her eating disorder kind of defines her. And we really uh, wanted to change that. We wanted to present a character who's a full human being, who is a business owner, who you know has relationships, who's kind of dealing with the complications of life. And the eating disorder is a part of it and a big part of her life, but it's not who she is. Um, and we didn't shy away from the disgusting, embarrassing, shameful, messy aspects of these terrible illnesses. Um, and we also have like a really sick sense of humor and people like to laugh. And if you can laugh about something that's serious, I think you can have, you can, you can break the ice and like have a real conversation about it. And it, it hit and we're really have been so touched and honored by the incredible response that we've gotten. We continue to get emails every single day from men and women all over the world sharing their experiences and telling us what the series has meant to them. Um, 
so we're just working our asses off to find a way to make this a real show, make it happen. It's been awesome.